different from ADRs. So all ADRs are essentially they are adverse events, but all adverse events are not ADRs. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Right. So um, the WHO uh, International Drug Monitoring Program was started in 1968 in Sweden, um, and they have uh, this Wiki base, which is their global database. Okay, so currently there are around um, 14 million cases uh, as of today in in the Wiki base database, and every year it increases by a million. Okay, and probably now during because of the pandemic, it can increase more. Okay, because people have been wrongly uh, taking off-label medicines like the hydroxychloroquine, which is not indicated for COVID, but that constitutes as an off-label reaction. And hence, even that is considered, even if they don't have any other effects of taking hydroxychloroquine, but the fact that they took it as an off-label medicine so that itself is an adverse reaction. Okay, so uh, that is also reported. So, uh, which base is this global database where all the regulatory authorities uh, uh, kind of coordinate and they send uh, to their um, ICSRs, the individual case safety reports, to the which base database. Okay, so it's, it goes like this, uh, the, the patient or the physicians, if there is an adverse drug reaction, they report it to uh, the pharma companies or they report it directly to the regulatory authorities. Okay, so in US, there is this MedWatch scheme and in UK, there is the yellow card scheme and in other countries in Health Canada, they have their own uh, med effect. So, Either the physician can report it to the pharma company, or that is to pharmacovigilance, or these regulatory authorities directly. And then the pharma company, whatever cases they get, they report it to um, the regulatory authority like the FDA, the EMA, the MHRA, uh, of, of whichever country uh, uh, their product is marketed. And then the regulatory authorities would. Uh, forward those ICSRs to Wichibase. So Wichibase is like this global repository of ICSRs. 